Hi! For this video, we're gonna learn about cis and trans isomers and how these conformations in organic hydrocarbons, particularly the alkenes, will affect their boiling and melting point. Now, what's the difference between a cis and a trans? We know that based on the structure, the groups that are attached in a cis and trans have to be different. And for cis, the groups are on the same side in the double bond. For trans, the groups are on the opposite side of the double bond. Both of these isomers have exactly the same atoms joined up in exactly the same order. The difference between the two is that the cis isomer is actually a polar molecule, whereas the trans isomer is nonpolar. Take note, your cis is polar while your trans isomer is nonpolar. So therefore, cis and trans isomers have different physical, chemical, and physiological properties. Now, let's look at two, pro two of these properties. We have melting point and boiling point. We see that for melting point, trans, in this example, transbut2in, has a higher melting point compared to cisbut2in. For boiling point, however, cisbut2in is higher in boiling point compared to the transbut2in. How come there's a difference between the boiling and the mel melting point between these two compounds? For boiling point, there must be stronger intermolecular forces between the molecules of the cis isomers than between trans isomers. The difference lies between the two is that the cis isomer is a polar molecule, whereas the trans isomer is nonpolar. Now, what we, what's with polarity that will influence the boiling point of the cis and trans isomer. It has something to do with the forces. Now, cis molecule looks like this. When we say polar, there is a partially negative and a partially positive side in the molecule due to the unequal distribution of the electrons. If there's unequal distribution, it's either one side will be more electrons there and the other side will be deficient. And of course, it can also be this side will be more, uh, will have less electrons, the other side will have more. So either of that will give you a dipole conformation or a dipole molecule. When you say dipole, that's the same idea with polar. You have a partially negative and a partially positive side of your molecule. While a trans, you have what we have what we call the cancellation of the charges or the cancellation of the distribution of the electrons. If one side will be more negative, it will be balanced out by the side which will have more on positive side. So with this particular arrangement, your polarity gets canceled out. So you will have what we call a nonpolar molecule in a trans um, arrangement of your atoms. So what's the effect? It has something to do with the intermolecular forces of attraction. This is the lineup of all the IMF. And again, IMF stands for intermolecular forces of a a attraction. So these are the the six types of IMF. These are the forces that will bond molecules to its neighboring molecules. For cis and trans, we focus mainly on the dipole-dipole and the London dispersion forces. The London dispersion forces exist in all molecules, not just for nonpolar. It exists in polar or nonpolar molecules. However, dipole-dipole exists in polar molecules only. So you see, if you get a polar molecule, you get two forces. You have dipole-dipole and dispersion force. If you got only nonpolar molecules, you get only dispersion force. So in that case, cis will have more IMF, there are two, while the trans will only have one, which is dispersion force. So you see that the stronger the IMF are, the stronger the intermolecular forces are, that means the harder it is to break the bond in order for the molecule to boil. The harder it is, the more heat is needed to boil it. The more heat, meaning 
the higher the temperature gets. The higher the temperature gets, the higher the boiling point temperature. That explains why your cis has higher boiling point compared to the trans. Because of the stronger IMF, that will lead to more heat and more heat will lead to a higher boiling temperature, which is compared to trans, which have a lower boiling point. So boiling point again of cis is higher than the trans because of this IMF present in it. Okay, how about melting point? Melting point or also freezing point, which is the reverse of that, is when the molecules pack together efficiently to become solid or from solid it, it melts. Trans isomer, based on their conformation, they pack better than cis. If they pack better, that means you can freeze them easier compared to the cis. When we say freezing, you're taking out the kinetic energy of the molecules for them to pack. And if you lower the temperature some more, that means you need to take out take out a lot of kinetic energy from these molecules. And because trans isomers pack better, that means the moment you take out kinetic energy, they will tend to arrange themselves easier compared to the cis. And so we expect trans isomers to have a higher melting point than cis. That explains the data. So why, if you see the arrangement, this cis, this type of arrangement here will find it hard for the molecules to arrange themselves to form a solid pack because the space, this, this um, groups here on top or on the same side of the double bond will hinder the packing together. Where in fact, if you have trans, there's plenty of open spaces here wherein, where the other groups of other molecules will tend to compress and form a solid. So the more space is available for that because you distribute the groups opposite the double bond, then the easier it is to freeze. So it has something to do with the area for freezing or packing. So let's summarize this. Cis isomers will have a um, higher boiling point because of their polarity, because they're polar, because of high or stronger IMF while trans isomers have higher melting points because they have they can easily pack themselves when they freeze so that's it that's a brief explanation of the effect of cis and trans isomers to their boiling and melting points this has been madam narka saying don't stop learning relearning and unlearning till next time please hit the subscribe button if you like this video thank you so much bye bye